welcome to Rendezvous with Yasmin and Kuma from Kandy, the hill capital of Sri Lanka. Tonight's Rendezvous is all about French presence in Kandy. The Kandy Alliance Francaise is of great historical significance. In 1967, at the opening of the Kandy Alliance Francaise, a reference was made to the French Lieutenant and Ambassador Sieur de Lanarole as the famed predecessor of the French Ambassador Monsieur Brionvol, who was the chief guest at the opening. Making it even more historical was the location of the Alliance Francaise. On the upper floor of the Ulpange or the Queen's Bath, which you see right down there far away. Well, this month's edition of Rendezvous with Yasmin and Kumar comes to you from the current location of the Alliance Francaise at 640.2 in Peradeniu Road. A warm welcome to Sri Lanka and to Rendezvous to the newly appointed director of the Alliance Francaise of Kandy, Sarah Tukas. Bonjour, Sarah. Bonjour, Yasmin. Merci beaucoup d'être avec nous aujourd'hui à l'Alliance Française de Candy. Our great pleasure, pleasure. as well, yes. Uh, Sarah, tell us what were your experiences like in teaching French in other countries long before you came to Candy, to Sri Lanka as director of Alliance Française at Candy. Uh, I learned on the job, really. Um, I was um, teaching French as a foreign language at Queen's University in Belfast. And uh, what I learned from this experience is that, you know, you really have to inspire uh, students. So you have to go ahead with the curriculum, that's the most important thing obviously, but what students are there for is to get inspired. So one of the greatest strengths of the network of French alliances is to be able to make this connection between cultures. So um, you have, you know, on the one hand, native teachers who would come to Sri Lanka for example, and teach French and share the language, but you would have also the opportunity to have um, local teachers from Sri Lanka to go abroad and experience life in France and, and get uh, more than just learning the language, learning the culture, discovering the culture, sharing the culture, sharing the experiences there. So when the COVID pandemic started, I was in Mexico actually working as a cultural and language coordinator. We, within the network of French alliances, we meet once a year, basically. We get the chance to meet once a year. And as we suddenly had to all move online, on a daily basis, we were able to work mm -hmm. together. We were watching a, a, an incredible amount of webinars, learning new skills, learning how to teach online, how to use new tools, you know, learning how to build this hybrid ecosystem. Like It's, it's like a, a digital ecosystem, really, mm -hmm. um, where you have to bring together the traditional teaching and introduce new tools. So, it has been uh, almost seven months since you came to Sri Lanka. Tell us, how has it been uh, life in Kandy? Life in Kandy has been um, kind of restricted because I arrived, I had this quarantine, I was in lockdown afterwards, so I had a little uh, time with the team at the French Alliance. And we're, you know, situated between Peradenia and Kandy. So it's, it's, we get the best of both worlds, really. Um, the busy town Kandy, which is starting again to be busy now. It wasn't, you know, when I arrived. And then Peradenia, which has the botanic gardens and so on. Kandy is like, it's very diverse. Uh, you feel very at ease walking around the city and, you know, all the communities are there, all the religions. It's, it's a, strong cultural heritage and it's a beautiful city. It's a lovely climate as well. We have the Knuckles Mountains just not, not very far, so it's, it's lovely living here. Yeah. So what plans and projects do you have for the Alliance Francaise Candy here? We have plenty. Um, in fact, we have already started. Uh, we, have, um, we were contacted by a team of teachers from the university and who asked for online teaching training. Um, so basically what we're going to do is transfer our expertise um, to as many teachers as possible and, you know, try to understand how online teaching works here in Sri Lanka and work together to create the best online teaching environment. So that's very important for us. Um, looking at the French classes, um, we're going to introduce this 
crazy 360 camera uh, to have an immersive experience. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, so basically you will allow students to be on site, the ones who want to be on site and, you know, face to face with their teacher. But the students who live in, in you know, remote areas and are not able to come on a daily basis in Candy, they can still be at home and experience the classroom. So that's to come very soon. Uh, on the cultural side, because we are obviously as French Alliances, we have both sides very strongly. On the cultural side, um, we have a very big project coming up um, with the Goethe Institute in Colombo and the French Embassy, the SCAC of the French Embassy in Colombo. And this was brought to us um, by um, French Theatre Collective, uh, as well as a professor of theatre from the University of Peradenia. Mm -hmm. So this will be scheduled for the French Spring to 2022, hopefully, if we can be, you know, if we can be on site. Following the, the recent Earth Sleeps, um, you know, we really had to um, rethink the space, like to understand what we could do with this beautiful space. It's a, it's a very charming um, area. It's very green. Uh, it, it's, it's a traditional looking house. And we have all this space in the background. So, I mean, one dream that we have is to build this open air amphitheater and uh, have, you know, this beautiful roof terrace. And so that's, you know, starting, it's cooking. Let's see if it can happen. That's one of the, um, of the, of the dreams that we have for, for the years to come. And so whilst we are taking um, hybrid learning and culture to the next level, we also want the space to be the ultimate learning and cultural events experience for the students and for the public. So people to, you know, feel that they are welcome in this space and that they can use it as their space and, and let's see what can happen from there. So, a lot of lovely things to look forward to in Candy at the Alliance. Merci beaucoup et merci beaucoup de votre accueil et bon courage. Merci Yasmine, merci beaucoup à vous d'être avec nous. And here's looking forward to more and more visits to the Alliance Française Candy. Thank you, Sarah. Merci beaucoup, Kumar. Purnika, what has been the, your experience teaching French at the Alliance in Candy? I, uh, I started uh, learning French in Candy Alliance in 1995. And after that, I started my career as a French teacher here in Candy Alliance. And it's been a great, uh, great opportunity to work here in this environment with different uh, directors, local as well as French. And I uh, get also the chance here to teach uh, students of different ages and experience in French culture, French tradition. And it's also given me the opportunity to practice different teaching methods. And I'm enjoying uh, being a French teacher here. Give us three reasons why you chose French and not any other foreign language. The first reason would be that I love uh, learning French language and the French culture. And the second reason would be the relevancy of the French language. And the third reason would be the fact that French language supports my dreams. As the pedagogical coordinator at the Alliance Francaise de Condé, uh, my role is to work uh, hand in hand with the teachers and to uh, check whether everything is going well with the students and uh, opening up classes according to the needs of the students, organizing exams. I have to be um, available to help the teachers. So during, the, during this period also, I was there like with them because it was difficult uh, for everyone. As the cultural coordinator, I have organized many events such as DJ night, exhibition, book launches, and we have organized also online events. During the pandemic, we haven't stopped any. We have shifted all our on-site events to online events and we managed to keep our crowd entertained somehow. Joining us now on Rendezvous is Dr. Kush Herat, a former director at the Alliance Sciences Candy, a visiting senior lecturer at the University of Peradeniya. And above all that, she was my French lecturer when I was a first year undergraduate at the University of Kalanir. Bonjour, Kush. Bonjour, Welcome Kumar. to Rendezvous. Thank you, Rendezvous, for this rendezvous. Bonjour, Indeed. Yasmin. <laughs> Lovely to have you on our program. Thank you. Kush, <laughs> tell us what, do you, in your opinion, is the motivation of the students at the university? to learn French? Oh, that motivation I think goes back uh, a long time. It's the, uh, when, they start teach, when they start learning French at school, that's where I think the motivation starts because they, uh, 
they, are, they take their first steps in French, their first words in French and uh, they learn a little about the literature, about uh, theatre, about uh, fashion, about music, all that through their textbooks and that is where I think the motivation starts and when they come to university, um, that passion uh, is even more developed, I think it's, uh, they become more passionate about the language, they become more interested in the language uh, and then uh, it all becomes a part of their lives and then French becomes, uh, you know, their interest and that's why they continue to study French. I think it's important to say that even students who do special degrees in other subjects, if they have done French for the A-levels and they've done French in the first year, always continue whilst doing a special degree, they continue to study French as their bi-subjects. So Kush, what teaching methods do you employ at the university? Um, yeah, when you say method, uh, let me talk about method as a book, as a text. I don't use anything because uh, I think, I don't, because I think that having a method, having a textbook uh, binds you uh, somehow to that textbook and your only aim, sort of, is to complete this thing. There is a very uh, advanced syllabus and for all the different subjects that we use, uh, subjects that we teach, uh, but uh, I like to be more creative. And there's so much stuff now on the internet, there's so much stuff that is produced in France by way of manuals, everything, so you can always take from those. Uh, yes, definitely, we, come, we do cover the syllabus and uh, we come a little bit more even, I think. Yeah? But apart from that, if we talk about methodology, um, it's a completely a student-centered methodology where the student takes pride of place and interaction within the class and the students um, do a lot of creative work in our classes uh, in French, presentations, uh, putting together different projects, uh, all that. I always tell them, you can't say this because and learn only that. You get out of the class, go in the corridor, a French person comes and says, where is the library? You can't say, let me look at the book. So, <laughs> uh, or oh, wait, wait till I look at the conjugation. No, you have Not to be ready. So. Um, give them that, uh, give them that possibility uh, to face any situation and I think um, I don't want to be bound by a book at all but it's very student-centered and uh, yeah. Thank you Kush, it was lovely having you on Rendezvous. Thank you very much Kuma. Thank Our you very pleasure. much Yasmin and it's lovely to uh, meet up with old friends and thank you Rendezvous, all the best to you. There is a vast amount of artistic, uh, literary and intellectual work produced in French and as a student studying at Alliance Francaise, I was exposed to all of this and uh, we would have lively discussions about the society, the social problems, about environment, about literature, art in our classes and it had a great impact on me and the way I think. So I think it is the exposure that I got through French um, and the knowledge that came with it, that I realized that I had a lot of interest in humanities and that this is what I want to do. Uh, in 2018, Madame Kush, my lecturer at the University of Peradeniya, told us that the embassy uh, in Sri Lanka, um, the French embassy in Sri Lanka is offering scholarships to three students to do a language um, training program. And uh, so I sent my CV and I was called for the interview and I was one among the three to do the stage linguistic in Montpellier. And uh, I spent two weeks there and I spent one more week traveling. Time for a short break. We're back soon with Elio Sons is Candy. Stay with us. <laughs>
back on Rendezvous, we are honoured with the presence of Dr. Jacques Soulier, a Frenchman who has contributed immensely to the propagation of the French language and culture in Kandy. Jacques, je suis ravi de t'accueillir à Rendezvous et à Kandy. Mais je suis ravi de te voir, Yasmin. So Jacques, do you consider yourself more a Frenchman or more a Sri Lankan, or both? It's the same, both of them, Kuma. You are both in one? Yes. I am lucky with that. Jacques was also a former director of the Alliance Francaise of Candy and a visiting lecturer at the University of Peradeniya. Apart from teaching French, Jacques, you've also made Candy a major cultural venue by creating the Surya Kant, the Center for Art and Culture. And this is spoken about by hundreds and thousands of uh, foreign visitors who have visited the center. Jacques, can you take us on a tour of the Surya Kanta Center? Yeah, what is Surya Kanta is a completion of a project that he, I initiated in France in partnership with Juan de Silva. In his early stage, this initiative was shaped by some help coming from the International Buddhist Center close to Paris and the Sri Lankan Embassy in Paris. But the truly Sri Lankan step started in 1995 with the acquisition of an old house uh, in vicinity of the archaeological sites of the Kingdom of Gampola and Kandy. Unfortunately, both the house renovation and the enrichment of the collections we have was stopped by the untimely death of Juan de Silva. After a long restructuring phase, it was possible six years ago to consider the possibility to open to visitors, foreign visitors or local visitors. The Surya Kanta Center is today a place deeply rooted in history. The Naramvala Valawa dates back to the 18th century and is built in the Dutch style. It has a rich collection of folk art, furniture, terracotta sculptures, paintings and manuscripts. And each exhibitor gives the visitor the chance to discover the culture and the traditions of the region of Kandy and in particular the Gampola Kingdom. A highlight of the centre is the library with a collection of more than 7,000 books in French and English, mainly about South Asia and focusing on India and Sri Lanka. The Surya Kanta Centre also has around 200 photographs as well as about 600 postcards belonging to the end of the 19th century. The centre has two galleries, a temporary one with an audio and sound installation system and a permanent one that features items from past exhibitions. And of course the culinary art is not forgotten as visitors can enjoy a traditional lunch or dinner in the beautiful Madamidula. Wasn't that an amazing tour? Next time you're in Kandy, do visit the Surya Kanta Center for Art and Culture. Merci beaucoup Jacques pour votre présence à Rendezvous. Un grand merci. Merci Kumar. Merci Yasmin. Merci Jacques. And now to close Rendezvous, we talk to Ravana Vijayaratna, the honorary consul for France in Kandy. Hello Ravana, it's a pleasure to have you on Rendezvous. It's a pleasure to be with both of you on Rendezvous. Now your recollections of France go back to your childhood. Can you tell us uh, something about it? Well, I think at the age of nine months, my father took appointment as ambassador uh, from Sri Lanka to France, to Paris, and we moved there. And I was just nine months old, and I recollect a lot, even though I was only five years when I came back to Sri Lanka because of the difference. I remember those boulevards, I remember those shopping malls, the food, the sounds of a beautiful language. So back to Candy, Ravana, you joined the Alliance Francaise Candy at age 13. I did go to this place with a bunch of my friends from Trinity and there are a few girls and we were given French names. I remember my name was uh, Marcel. But what was most interesting, more than these girls that I uh, met there, was the French teacher. You see, the French teacher was a lovely lady. Later on, you served in the committee. So I had to get elected. I didn't know there was an election process. And it's also where I met my wife, uh, Aisha. So I won this uh, position and I wanted to actually do something. My love for art, 
because my mother was an artist. So I thought, okay, let me go with books on French paintings from Fragonard, Renoir, Monet, Manet, Matisse, whatever I can get hold of. And go to Mahamaya, go to Hillwood, go to Trinity, go to St. Sylvester's and show it to the art teachers, show it to the students, let them borrow the books, be inspired by the styles of Picasso, who's of course Spanish but really blossomed in France, and try to use those methods to do their own paintings or even do reproductions, if that is what they want, with a twist. And so they did that and we had this amazing exhibition at the Alliance Francaise. And now as the Honorary Consul for France in Candiravana, what specific role do you play here? Well, um, one of the roles that I have to play uh, is um, I have to take care of the French citizens who come to Candy. And they might uh, have difficulties with regard to uh, uh, issues, could be medical issues, uh, could be legal issues, could be robberies. Then also a lot of the French people who live here in Candy, uh, they get their pensions and for that I have to uh, authorize uh, something called the certificate, the V, that they are actually living in Candy. So my seal upon a document verifies that they are here and they continue to get their pensions. So they come once a year for that. Um, also when the ambassadors and the new ambassadors come, I introduce them to the dignitaries in Candy, which could be the governor, the mayor, and on the first, for the first occasion, Eric Levertou, uh, who's the ambassador now, wanted to meet the Mahanaikas. This is very unusual for a Western country, and I was really touched that he felt the need to connect with the people of Candy through the traditions of this city, and I try to connect people together and make it work for France. And it's a pleasure to be part of this and also then to reconnect with Allianz so that France is more vibrant in Candy through that. Ravana, do you still organize events for the Allianz Francaise in Candy? So one of the events that I got very involved using my connection to the Rotary Club of Candy uh, was to uh, do an exhibition on art using the styles of Toulouse-Lautrec but using the inspiration of Baudelaire. Uh, his uh, poem called Journey was taken, translated into Sinhalese and Tamil as well, as well as English, given to students around uh, Candy, and they were inspired by that and they did some poster art. The other thing that I did was for the Heritage Day of France. Uh, basically, I uh, launched a website uh, sharing the culture of Candy, and what we did is we uh, tried to cover of the 72 Raja Mahaviharis, these are the temples of Buddhism with royal patronage. As, as much as 72? Yeah, there's as much wow. as 72. And actually this was all documented by Lloyd Vera Cohn, a person who retired uh, being a medical doctor. I think he practiced, he was an eye surgeon actually. And uh, I used his book and I got his permission before he died. And uh, we went and we photographed them and we made this website with uh, geolocations for people to just use Google Maps and go there and we also did a glossary of terminology which is of old Pali, Sanskrit or old Sinhalese and giving their English meanings and uh, the idea was to show that there's more to candy it's just not the Maligava and the four temples that you know of but amazingly beautiful temples with great stories uh, uh, in the villages and the hinterland of candy. Thank you, Ravana. Thank you very much for sharing all those lovely anecdotes with us. Merci beaucoup, Yasmin. Merci beaucoup. Uh, we now need to leave you all and get back to Colombo soon. Au revoir, à la prochaine. Au revoir.